Alright. So, as I said in my last video, I was getting Slime Rancher too. Okay, and here we are with Slime Rancher 2. Really fucking excited for this. Super excited for this. This is gonna be a good time. Uh, sorry if you can hear my phone. Uh, but the apartment complex I live in around this time always shuts off. Always shuts off uh, my AC, and I'm a very hot dude. I melt in heat. We'll just go with them. I, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't they just have a difficulty set, setting? But whatever, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Also, I don't know. I don't know. After a long day of slime and Beatrix Labour was enjoying a cool glass of characters as she watched the sun set across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. Seems probably not like probably should have, uh, should have, uh, changed that before, but you have explored the far, far ran range. From the dusty shore of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert, but there are worlds yet uncharted. Beatrix Labu, Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses, all an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. <clears throat> Not used to reading out loud. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slime, start a farm, and build gadgets. I'm really not good at reading in general, let alone out loud. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. Exit. Options. Okay, that should be that should be a lot better. I'm hoping. I don't know, it might be too quiet. This game, so far, looks fucking gorgeous. This game looks so good.
Alright, we'll just start on the basics real quick, get everything going, and then, you know, slime ranch it up. Oh, this place is so fucking cute. Overshot the shit out of it. Ready to explore. Seems like they've changed prices around. God, this game's gorgeous. I figured not, but, you know. Oh, it's a fucking buddy slams already. Oh. Well, I imagine what they're gonna want is... They don't seem to go as far. Which is fine, which is fine. We'll just grab a bunch of the rabbit boys. A shit ton of carrots. Okay, 20, 20. Alright. Access GG log. Ugh. Oh my back. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place. I still remember being in all of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. As I going to suggest. <laughs> this game is gorgeous as hell. Uh... I'll get twenty of them, you know, because why not? Oh, right. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. Breathlessly and breathless and sweating. I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. I don't know, take the high ground, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just... The only problem I have with games like this is I never know where to, where to start, what to do. Explore, or... Or what? Oh, 
the fucking cabby slimes. But jetpack, I could jump to that. Oop, I got a snap cat. important. Don't know what that thing is. We'll head back. Oh, what the hell is this? Neat. Love it though. Okay. Oh my lord ass. <laughs> I don't know, I like throwing things into the water. Jesus. Oh fucker came at me like he was on some shit. Oh fucker was like, I'm gonna beat your ass. What the fuck is this thing? I don't know what that thing's for yet, so I don't wanna fuck with it too much. Okay. Back to the house, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I got my money. What I'll probably do is I'll probably take the... Uh... Probably take the pink slimes out of the thing, and then just put the... All 20 of these, uh... Cotton slimes. And, uh... Put them in there, I suppose? I'm not for sure how to do this, so I how I should go about this. I'm throwing the hand hand, so oh yeah, they uh, they're just not very fast at it. Wait, how the I can already see this becoming a problem. Airnet for spirit. Yep, I'm gonna need an airnet. Is there anything new? No. It's all the same. Mm. That's kind of depressing. Port machine is up here, and these guys are for 18, which is significantly better than the. <laughs> we 
which is significantly better than the pink porch, so. I mean, granted, not by much, but, you know, significantly better was also the wrong word, but, you know. <laughs> not giving them a voice. Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea. Taken away by the mysterious boat never to be... Oops. Nope. Just forgot to turn the display on. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. And while I am quite excited for you to partake in, in a new adventure, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night, I received a message from a sort of artificial intelligence program. It's written in code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of ana an analyzing, analyzing it. But I am certain that this message was sent from where you are now. The mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite curious. Well, I've got work to do and you best get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. Uh, off to the waters with you. The ambiance in this game got fucking mighty creepy. Oh, there it goes. I'm pretty sure the badass looks for it. Not, not veggies. But. Yeah, fruit. God. Fuck off. Also, don't really remember where he was. So. That's a thing. He was some way, somewhere. There's already so much to explore. This map's not as linear as the other one. But the other one has a pretty straight path that... ...has a bunch of... ...side paths. This one seems to be a, all a bunch of side paths. I have no, you know, straightforward path. Which is fine. Fine, you know. It's just gonna make guarding the area hard. I also I don't like that they never changed uh, the fact that sprinting and then jumping. Mm -hmm. Interesting slow you down it's like if you're sprinting and then jump you could carry momentum but you know it's just a minor minor freaking thing that means not a whole lot it's just one of those things that always bothered me about this game I'm like, not even bothered me with that, like, bad of a sense. Well, that dude just said, fuck life.
there's gonna be so much to explore in this game. And I'm still probably only gonna do, uh, 30 minute increments, because... I'm trying not... I get burnt out on games extremely fast. The dumb habit I have. I also don't remember where that fucking Gordo or whatever it is. I saw him for a second and was oh well. Wow. I didn't think it would let me, but man, wouldn't that have been funny if I could have... Bounced on his head and, you know, got a little bit further. Those things are apparently important. Understood. So instead of keys to doors and such, it is teleporters to other islands and such. to make this jump easy peasy yep feral slimes are angry and assholes but that's fine because they normally fly into the air and I can dictate where they go from there those guys are all feral Right. 
That's why I don't have to hold it. It just holds automatically. Yeah, I'm gonna just take this up to my house, I guess, and don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Don't know what it is. Sorry, didn't have much bring you. Oh, it's slime pea, pink slimes, cute. Favorite doesn't have one. Their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. A hop skip. A hop. Skip, a jump, and oh, it's gone. Those stripes, that tail, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Favorite is Stony Hen. Favorite is whatever that is. Uh, I'll be back up with something else. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm Archway. Hmm. Well. My chickens free range. You know, I'm at 28 minutes. I think that's a pretty good place to stop. I'll work on editing a video at some point where I can just play for a few hours. And... Oh, no. <sighs> well, I'm also very tired today, so. It, that doesn't help but yeah this game is beautiful and is gonna be a lot of fun the map's a little more confusing but that's fine I also had a lot of time on the other one so i just kind of know how to traverse it a little bit uh but thank you all for being here and i hope you have a lovely night see you around